There you go. It's looking nice. It's a very simple way to create light. In this area up here, I might just use what's on my on my brush still and just lightly hit that. And I don't know if you can see, but I'll leave just a little bit of that till right here between the dark and the light. And what that does is just creates more of an illusion that there's light coming from behind this shape. And it almost casts a halo around objects when you see light. So it just helps things look a little more realistic. And I might actually take this and pull it through as well. As if there was a little break here. Just getting getting creative with my lighting and my shapes. I'm trying to create some visual interest. I'm gonna blend this out really nice. And don't be afraid, I mean it may not look good right now, but we're gonna come back. We're gonna put some colors on top of this white. So we're gonna use this white, this ghosted white in here as kind of a backdrop to put our other color on top of. Blend our shape in here a little more. Create more of a misty look. Finish my bottom here. And I think this spot, I want my light to come out of the center right here. Missed it a little right there. That's looking really nice. Very effective, simple way to create light. And we're going to take it a step further once this dries. So you can see how much that white adds. If I, was, I didn't put that white there, I'd be missing, definitely be missing something. So, again, I'm just going to use my brush here, what I've got left on it. You don't want every single spot in your painting to be intense. Because then that sometimes, you know, just kind of looks generic. And that's definitely not what we want. So we're just going to let this light be real intense towards the bottom. And as it gets to the top, it just kind of dies off. 